beautiful for some of us, not all of us, because there was some pretty wicked wind out there earlier today, and we are talking gusts over 90 miles an hour in some areas. So again, it was pretty nasty out there. Still pretty gusty from Craig through Rifle all the way down towards Durango. You'll find winds about 20 to 30 miles an hour and near Fort Collins, 35 mile per hour gusts all the way down to the southern part of the state. Thankfully here in Denver, it hasn't been too bad. It's been a little bit breezy, but shifting into the foothills and into the high country, it has not been a pleasant day. Loveland through Allen's Park and towards Bertha Pass, 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts right now. And take a look at some of these wind speeds from earlier today. Bertha Pass, 93 mile per, 94 mile per hour gusts. Pikes Peak, 93 mile per hour gusts. In Nederland, around 85 miles an hour. So again, these are horrible winds out there causing damage as well. So this is not a fun situation. We do have a high wind warning all the way from Wyoming down into New Mexico. Uh, this is in place through midnight tonight as we still expect to see those winds gusting potentially up to 80 miles an hour. And the other side of this is a red flag warning that's in place through 6 p.m. tonight. Gusty winds, low humidity for that southeastern corner of the state. So really the foothills out towards the eastern plains, windy conditions today, and we're worried about fire danger. On the other side of the state, it's a whole different ball game. We'll talk about that in just a moment. 50 in Denver right now, 52 out in Greeley, low 50s, even some 60s still on our far eastern plains. Some parts of the southeast did get into the 70s today. 28 in Frisco, 29 in Steamboat, and 41 in Grand Junction. 57 from our weather watcher Ron in southwest Lone Tree, and 53 degrees here downtown. Let's check in with our Almanac. DIA officially hit 60 degrees today, 61 uh, here in the downtown area, so 46 is our average. We're obviously running well above that. Satellite and radar, take a look at western Colorado. It is dumping snow right now. Uh, Steamboat Springs already reporting five inches at the summit just since one o'clock this afternoon, and you can still see all that heavy snowfall. So the jet stream really pumping a lot of this towards us. We have this strong, steady southwesterly flow. Take a look at all that moisture off to our west. We're not done with this just yet. So overnight tonight, we see that snow continue. Front range eastern plains, we stay dry. Gets a little lighter tomorrow morning, and then we see that snow continue. And then another big wave comes in into the afternoon and evening. And then maybe on Thursday night into Friday morning, chance for some snow out east and maybe even a little bit of light snow here in Denver. We have winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings in place through tomorrow. And then we'll have another round of these reissued for the next round of snow coming our way. Lows for tonight. We have lots of 30s and 20s for the Front Range Eastern Plains, 20s, teens in the high country. Tomorrow, just a smidge cooler for us. We're looking at 56 in Denver, 60 in Colorado Springs, 30s, 40s in the high country. And for your five-day forecast, uh, 55 on Friday. Then we have a big cool down coming our way this weekend. Maybe some snow on Saturday. All right. Thanks mm -hmm. so much, Lauren. We'll be right back.